Okay, so um, here is our call to action. We hope you had a lovely conference. Thank you very much for being here. Um, we, after God, Dr. Gattasali's talk, we, we invite people to go to the Rehive instance and carry on the conversation. Remember, our goal here is for you to meet new people, form new connections, and possibly take some action out of this, uh, out of this, this conference. Oh, wait, I missed it. Oh, so what will we do better in the next decade? Well, that's for you to decide. That's for you to decide in conversation with other um, uh, conference goers. But I can tell you what we need. We need money. Every one of the nonprofit organizations here needs money. Public Convention needs money. Helpful Engineering needs money. Um, uh, Every Breath Counts Coalition needs money. I don't really expect the conference goers to give money. What we need to do is to um, propagandize and agitate the large granting organizations to try to give more money to the humanitarian engineering uh, community. That's what we really need. I, I don't believe we can go to the public to raise $400,000 for public invention. But those of you who have influence may be able to influence influencers in a way that many of the organizations we've talked about here can get money for these uh, open source engineering efforts, which will create local businesses all over the world. We need volunteers of all kinds. That means engineers, but also people who are artists and writers, and for all I know, musicians and poets. You know, We need everybody um, and we can find a way to use you. We all need to connect to each other, whether that's shallow or deep. So I, I invite everyone here to send me a personal email if you want to talk about anything. We're happy to do that. Um, if it's just following us on social media, that's valuable. If it's something deeper and having a deep conversation about a white paper or a policy we can write together, that's also important. I think we really need to enter an age of global cooperation to solve these uh, problems. I, I think today we brought together people from all over the, the globe. And I, I think it underscores that there is a lot of opportunity if we will take the time to learn what's really needed and to communicate globally and to start to cooperate and stop competing on these issues. Um, we'd also like to turn the open medical um, technology manifesto into concrete actions. We did that yesterday afternoon. We took a few concrete actions. I may be inviting some of you um, after this um, to do that, uh, to uh, help articulate what kind of actions we can take.